What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I got Michael Martel here with me. We're doing a little bit of an unofficial practice session for a regional that we're bowling this weekend on the Billy Hardwick pattern, which will be over here or over here somewhere. And uh, we're just gonna kind of really, qu really quickly talk about what balls we brought today and why. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Yeah, so if you like this jersey, go to coolwick.com, use my promo code MOTIVELU10. <clears throat> if you like his jersey, go to apparelefx.com. Yep, and my promo code is MMA21. MMA21. If you guys like any of the balls that I'm throwing or Michael's throwing, there's going to be links in, in the description where you can directly support either one of us. It really helps us out, and uh, we would super appreciate it. For me, I brought a pitch black just because I really want to see if the urethane balls are going to be there. I also brought the reality, which I really like on this pattern and I like it in these high friction centers. I brought the UFO alert with a little bit of surface. I brought an IQ Tour solid with a little bit of surface and I brought the trend two to see if it's going to be that ball that I can get to later in the block. What did, uh, what did you bring? Uh, I brought a, uh, a tall pin Jackal legacy for what I expect to be the fresh goes pretty forward for me. I brought a Jackal ghost. I brought two Venom recoils, I brought a Forge Flare, a Pride, and I, ha I also have a, a Purple Tank just to see if, you know, the urethane that is in play for me this week. If it is, we're in good shape, but even if we're not, I like, I like the options that I brought with. That's right, that's right. And, uh, all right, we're going to get it, we're going to turn the camera around, get on the lanes, and uh, come back in a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so we just got done bowling about 
three and a half games each. And what did you see out there? Uh, I definitely think there's a little more friction here than what we're really going to see at the stadium tomorrow. Um, but I definitely think we both had good shape with uh, with the balls we were using. I really like that UFO alert and that uh, that reality for you. Yes. Uh, I definitely think we're staying away from urethane, both of us as a whole. Agreed. Um, yeah. My Jackal legacy was the money ball. Uh, and I definitely think my, my recoil and my pride after that are, are the way to go. See, I, um, I like the Forge Flare the most. Yeah, I, I think the Flare is good. If, if we get to some tighter pairs, I feel like I can keep my target in the front part of the lane the same and just shut the angle down with the Flare a little bit. Um, and that Legacy allows me to you know throw it a little bit away from it. Uh, yeah. So I, I like having both of those options in there. Both of those would be good on the fresh. Um, and then, like I said, I'll get into either recoil or pride. Uh, really no shiny balls for me, but... Uh, again, that's that because I can do a lot of different things with my hands, so I don't yeah. really need them. So. Yeah, because even the UFO alert, I, I hit it with like a like a fifteen hundred uh, True Cut pad by CTD. You know, shameless plug. Uh, I hit it with like a fifteen hundred pad, and it still cleared the fronts better than anything I had. But unlike that uh, that Trend Two, which does have the polish on it, it the Trend Two is a little longer than I wanted. It, the UFO alert, I think, is going to be the ball. Yeah, and I, and I definitely think, like, if you give that trend to some teeth under the polish, I think you'll get, you know, this step down from the UFO alert that you're looking for. Um, definitely. Yeah, I, I think that UFO alert looked phenomenal. And like I said, that reality was was definitely the ball in the fresh. We were able to do a lot of different things with it from a lot of different parts of the lane. Yes. Um, I and definitely then, think that ball was good, too. And then tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but for us tomorrow, for you guys, a couple videos from now, we're going to show you guys what our full arsenal looks like. I have to make a couple adjustments because one of the balls that was coming in didn't come in. I'm taking a urethane ball out of the bag, putting some stuff in. Uh, his arsenal is pretty much set because he had to fly here from New York. So thank you guys for joining us. Click those links in the description. It helps me out a ton. It'll help him out a ton as well. Now we're actually going to shoot an Iron Forge ball review featuring Michael Marteau. I don't have one, so we're going to get a lefty ball review. So until next time, guys. That's it? Easy. Cheesy.